getting into All right, let's game, get into so. it. Six O versus Just Saying. It's going to be Pally versus Pally, it looks like. Both of them starting with a muster for battle, so it should be pretty interesting. The Consecration also going to tell a pretty big story here. It's a, it's a card that, in my experience, I've always used really early against muster for battle, yeah. but then end up regretting it later in the game where I don't have access to the <laughs> Consecration that I needed. Mm -hmm. So the fact that both of them have this, it's going to be like a really big fight for the board early on, so a lot of it also is going to do with how the two drops end up developing and how they can take advantage of that fact. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, you can see that... Uh, just saying, it's taking some time here, uh, thinking through his mulligans quite a lot. You know, just not sure if he wants to hold on to the Consecrate, maybe not sure if he wants to hold on to Piloted Shredder. Um, just kind of like how greedy he wants to be. So he's going to drop everything except the Muster for Battle. Both players are. Um, we are going to see Argent Squire here for Just Saying, and we're going to see Haunted Creeper on the other side. So these are two kind of somewhat telling cards. Also, we're seeing that Harrison Jones is being played um, in Sixo's deck. Also, Unique you, you, you Keelbot. That's interesting. That's not something I really see in, um, in Pally decks very often. Yeah, I'm kind of curious why he's chosen to play Haunted Keeper over Argent Squire. Hmm. It's maybe the fact that he doesn't have Blood Knight in his deck. And just fighting for the board a little yeah. bit more earlier, that kind of thing. So I think I think Haunted Creeper's matching up a little bit better versus Argent Squire. Yeah, it, it is for sure in, the, in this circumstance. And you know, the combination with the Blood Knight, obviously, is kind of why you're playing that card. It's not so much uh, for its individual power in the early game. Looks like he's choosing to attack this Haunted Creeper. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of like a... Um, I feel like that really tells your opponent that you have muster for battle. Mm. But I don't know if they can really do anything about that. Like, what can they do with that information? Is that, valu is that valuable to them at all? Uh, frankly, I don't really think it is. Yeah. An easy clear, though, with the muster for battle. And I mean, I think it's going to be uh, muster for muster. But I mean, now with like already five minions on the board, it's kind of kind of a crappy situation for just saying already, just off the Hunter Keeper versus the Arden Squire. Because I mean, yeah. it's like, yeah, sure. He, he's using his own muster, but he's already kind of at a, a board disadvantage here. A pretty significant one at that. Yeah. Green skin finds its way into the hand for 6 0. And again, this is just the way he's built his decks. Like, he knows that Paladin's going to have so many weapon charges throughout the course of the game, finding ways to get value from them. He's got Harrison to counter weapon, then he's got Green skin to enhance his own. Wow. It's really intelligent. Yeah. Well, Consecrate comes out here, but. I don't know. I don't know if he really wants to do it. I mean, if, if he does hit that, it's probably going to be the play. But like you talked about, it's not really the most value consecrate, really. Yeah. You know, it's it's tempting to also just kind of maybe true silver up and take that out, or or develop your own piloted shredder. But it, it's a tough decision. Let's walk the in for sure. The problem the problem with any of these plays that he goes with is that he's going to start taking a lot of damage in doing it. Yeah. And that's something that certainly is, is concerning him. Yeah, for sure. I, I like the piloted shredder, though. I think I think it's the right choice. Um, we'll see exactly what the the choice is going to be here. I mean, obviously, you don't really want to use Harrison on Light's Justice, but at the same time, you know, developing that body and getting two draws, not too bad. I think it's one of the reasons it's in here is yeah. to just get a lot of draws off of things like Muster for Battle. Yeah, I think it's a pretty solid play here. I mean, I would not be uh, surprised to see that whatsoever. Definitely thinking about it though. I mean, Lothab also fairly reasonable. Um, you know, Cog Hammer. If it did give the, the Div Shield to your uh, your Shredder, you can trade in that way as well. You can trade in your one one, give the Div Shield to your four three, and then trade Shredders, things like that. So there are some options. And the chances are that you could actually uh, kill off the next one. But it's yeah. going to be the Harrison, and I like this. Going to get the double draw it's here. Too valuable. Tyrion and Doctor Boom. God, he has a lot of legendaries in this deck. Just going straight for the dome. Yeah. Wow, putting on a lot of pressure. I can't blame him for this either. I mean, look at his hand. Yeah, exactly. There's no reason not to. And I mean, uh, this is rough, man. What are you going to do here? You, you True Silver to start clearing up, but still going to be taking additional damage and probably going to be forced into trading his, his, uh, his shredders here as well. Um, yeah, it looks like he was going to go for the token here instead. Uh, really fighting hard to try to short yeah. things up, but again, he's just. He's taking so much damage in the meantime from all this. And this follow-up is not going to stop anytime soon. No, I mean, every turn from here on out is going to be just brutal. Yeah. Hmm. How do you feel about the coin token there? I think he's got to do something with this coin. Yeah. He, just ne he needs everything he can get right now. I have no well, it's going to be the Sylvanas, and I think no reason to stop going face now. So. Yeah. I mean, you you found yourself in a in a very fortunate position where you can continue to apply a lot of pressure, and 
That's just really it gets the last charge out of the way before Harrison Jones get dropped too, but so uh, and potentially get some value out of like a cog hammer with that guy. But. Second mistress of pain we've seen summoned from a pilot shredder. Yeah. Did we, did we see pilot shredder on the first three matches today? I think so. I, was back, I think Backspace was the first person who actually saw play pilot shredder, right? Mm. Uh, I'm not positive, to be honest with you. Um, but I think it was in every series, though. Tech Pro didn't pay, play it for Mage? I don't think so. No, no, you're right, he didn't. Mm. Oh. He's uh, debating if he wants to uh, clean up this Mistress of Pain or not. Don't think he really has a lot of options. Definitely really on the back foot now. God, that feels like such an awful attack. <laughs> I know, but it, I mean, what else are you going to do? At the same time, like Dr. Boom uh, is, is a really nice follow up here. I mean, everything is looking pretty darn good. I think we'll probably just see Dr. Boom. Yeah, I, 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 honestly, I think Coghammer's fine, too. Yeah. Dr. Boom is probably a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Just because it's on curve. Like, using your mana really efficiently is is uh, such an important part of, of these kinds of turns or late game. You, have, you know, you don't really care if Sylvanas dies. At this point, it's done its job, I think. You have a 7-7 seven, seven on the board that your opponent has to deal with. Well, he does get the owl, so that's something. Um, I mean, what do you? what's the play here? Do you... Okay, wait, how much damage can you actually get in? No, you don't have enough to actually kill the Dr. Boom. I mean, you could trade both in, and you can Consecrate, but then Dr. Boom's left at one HP. So it doesn't really help you very much. If you Quartermaster, um, this is a 4-4, four, four, <laughs> but God. still, I don't know, man. It's like... Yeah, it's so brutal. It is, but... It's not really a lot of options here. Pretty much every play has sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to find one that's yeah. just like I'm at all satisfied with, and none of them are very strong. No, they're all terrible. Poor soul. Oh gosh. It's got to pray. It doesn't. Doesn't. Uh, it does. I have to go face, man. I don't you even really know. You go for the boom bots before you go for Sylvanas. No, I don't really like that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. No, I don't like that. I think you should go for Sylvanas. He's got some decisions to make though. He's got to go quick. Let's see what he does. Gotta take out the Sylvanas at least, man. All right, so he's gonna be Sylvanas and then just gonna go face, okay. But still, these uh, these boom bots could be pretty huge. And I mean, with the, the weapon draw, I mean, he can either just cog hammer here. Oh, man. <laughs> One to the face. Yeah, that's about as good as you could hope for. So this one goes. Oh, oh, four to the kill bot. Yeah, I like Coghammer. Just go face. Coghammer up, give it a div shield. You can go, you can go low with that. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's so brutal. Especially knowing the owl's already down. What's the chances of him having another owl for the. It's, it's for pretty the, low. It's, it's basically none, man. I mean, now you have a div shielded Dr. Boom. Uh, oh, you can steal Blood Knight. That's not bad. I mean, do you even steal. Do you steal your Inoitron's shield too? Given that you're this low? I think you're taking too much damage if you do that. So I think you have to Blood Knight then Inoitron. I mean, or you could, you could, I mean, you could Blood Knight Harrison, but then you don't have the Tana, and then you're going to take too much damage. You have to, I think you have to Blood Knight, that sucks. If you had, if you had enough mana for all that, that'd be you know, such a nice play. So, okay, so he's just going to Harrison, and then, um, I know you're trying to guess. Oh, or oh big my game god, wow. My gosh, what a draw. Oh. I was trying to think of a way he pulled out of this, and I just yeah. overlooked big game hunter. Yeah. But that the third draw. Jeez. one of the ways he can get back into this game. And I mean, game. now... Potentially, he has the double annoyance shot. Like, if, if Tyrion got played, he could, like, double annoyance shot on Blood Knight and get, yeah. like, a 12 12. Oh, my gosh. That'd be pretty funny. If this game just turned around. If he gets a 12 12 off this, man, I don't even know. That would be. Okay, so it's going to be muster, it looks like. Yeah, I definitely want to utilize his quarterback. Yeah. This is such so a good strong. Uh, I mean, now it's like you got to be praying for equality, pretty much. <laughs> This is such a brutal spot. Too. Yeah, 8 HP. He's still got Noitrons, though, so uh, you know it's kind of absorbed four to Oh, one. there it is, Wow, man. and he picks up he equality. He gets equality. Absolutely massive. And he's going to be able to clear it. And, oh, man, could Zizo, I mean, 6 -0, sorry, I keep calling Zizo. 6 -0, I mean, he's going to be taking some damage now. And, I mean, he could get a little bit nervous here. 
And there's still the Blood Knight to, to like potentially set up this huge play with a, a massively drawn, buffed Blood Knight. Two out of his last three draws have been zombie chow. Yeah. And I, I think it's yeah, it's gonna be Tyrion, dude. So he's gonna steal. He's gonna steal the the shields. He actually has a potential okay no, it's not gonna be Esbe because he at least knocks that off. But I think I think you annoy Tron, Blood Knight, you get a nine nine Blood Knight. No, okay. He doesn't want to do it with yeah, the I double. Think he, I think he, he wants to keep the onto the shield, board. okay. Yeah. I mean, 6-6 six, six is just enough at this point, right? Yeah, it's very true. Uh, he has him extremely low already. Wow. Do you think he just... Do you drop the Quartermaster just for an extra body? No, he's not going to. No, he doesn't need to. The 1-1 one, one yeah. doesn't threaten enough body. Pilot of Shredder gets picked up. I don't think that's going to be enough for 6-0. Oh my god, dude. He turned it around. One, six, that's incredible. Seven. Wow. There's actually no way that's Yeah, that's game. Victory is yours. 6-0 going to fall to I'm saying. Wow. That, uh... <laughs> Community Gosh. qualifier, man. I, d I wow. don't really know how much there is to say about that game. Just the, you know, that big game. What a turn. Yeah, it's just kind of the RNG. All right, let's go game two. Let's see if uh, six zero can bring it back from just against just saying. And I mean, games like this is really to me where you start to test the mental fortitude of a player. You know, how tilted are you from that? Like, can you actually still um, play it intelligently, play a calm, collected game? Uh, it's going to be zoo, and. Um, See how this is gonna work out. It's gonna be the coin. Ooh, it's interesting. The shielded minibot really does work yeah. against this deck. I can tell you what. This is a matchup I don't think he was really too happy to face, but not one that battle is super nice as well. Yeah. Oh, it's a really nice pickup here there too on the Undertaker. Yeah. He's gonna keep his board protected with uh, the Void Walker. Still, he does have at least um, Master of Battle, so he can't actually get through that uh, on yeah. this turn. He's a true silver champion as well. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I would think it's must for Valia. Yeah, that would surprise yeah. me if it wasn't. <laughs> really no other play when he started, here. When he started mousing over the Inetta turn, I was like, good. Oh. But, yep, definitely a solid play. He can actually start to buff up uh, his Undertaker as well, so he can get a, a free trade, which is pretty nice. Um, but still, I mean, there is the, the weapon to answer that. And, I mean, the, the trades here are, are quite nice, but at the same time, oh, interesting, okay. Yeah, he just wants to force him to trade in the two two. Yeah, no, I try. Do you think? Do you think you silence this to keep it your two two alive? I, I think that's like a. Do you th I think that's a relatively reasonable play considering like how, how tempo based this is going to be. Well, I think uh, what's more important to you here, in, in my opinion. Yeah, I like this. I like whether or not the Undertaker is more important, or whether or not the, the creeper. The, yeah, yeah. yeah that's I, what I, mean. like, I like that a lot. Important. Like silencing that and killing that and leaving the, the, yeah. the Undertaker is what I mean. Pretty pretty massive board lead at this point. Yep, I think that was uh, was really nice there. Um, and I mean, you have implosion, but obviously you're kind of hoping to use that on, on higher HP targets. But at this point, it's like you don't really have a lot of good plays. Do you just drop the implosion, hoping that you roll high and just kind of get some bodies on the board? That's what it looks like to me. I mean, I, I don't think that I don't yep. think the Iron Eagle is like a bad play by, by here by any means. But Definitely praying for the four. See what he gets to two. Gets so to two. And roll low. Now but his RNG continues to be a little bit below average in this series. That's certainly one of the ways to beat Sixo, though, is to, to get the right RNG, man. That guy's, he just doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> That's what I pulled. I mean, last game, I, again, I agree with you. I think he played it pretty perfectly in this game. It's, he's been on point so far. Thankfully for him, though, pretty, uh, pretty dead draw there. Uh, for yeah. just saying, he, he's not going to be able to develop his board really any further. So you know, that is something uh, stem the bleeding a little bit. I think it's got to be the egg here. I mean, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I mean, he has the potential to, to buff it up for next turn as well. So that's going to be pretty nice for him. Uh, can potentially dump a lot of his hand next turn, and then maybe be able to get like out like a, a doom card with some less uh, less discards. Yeah, pretty tough to not play Sylvanas here. Yeah, gotta get some bad news that Sixo has the perfect range for this, but yeah, certainly cer Sylvanas is certainly in play here. No kidding. Oh, it's gotta be the silence. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So he's going to be all silenced up, power overwhelming, plus, <laughs> oh my god, I mean, that is brutal. <laughs> that is really brutal. It's, pretty, yeah. it's a pretty big turn that he's looking for, but, yeah, no kidding. A, you know, true silver champion in hand, he's going to be at a pretty comfortable life total. He's only facing down a couple of 2-1s right now. Yeah, and I, th I think you probably just play the Blood Knight. I think it's pretty reasonable to just play the Blood Knight here, just get another body on the board. I'm okay with tokening as well. Yeah, I mean, I think both are, are, are pretty okay. We'll see what he does. It's going to be the token. 
I mean, and that was honestly a huge turn there for six zero. He needed yeah. a turn like that, and uh, and he was able to, to secure it. Sea Giant's going to come down this turn as well. Yeah, and I mean, he's he's potentially going to be able to get like a, he's going to be able to get a clean Doom Garden. Honestly, this is this is just such an insane swing. Uh, he does have the Equality Consecrate though. I mean, I think it's it's going to be that this turn. I mean, you got to you got to Equality Consecrate. Yeah. You can't just let an eight power minion summon. Yeah, exactly. Still, the Doom Guard going to be uh, somewhat tricky to deal with, perhaps. What's the worst draw in six of Sacred? Is it Implosion? Yeah. Second Doom Guard? I think I think uh, second Doom Guard is actually the worst. Okay. Well, I predict he's going to draw second Doom Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be the way his turn is just going to roll today. I don't know, man. He's had this, this last this last like couple hands have been like yeah. pretty darn good. All right, so he, he didn't pick it up, so I think that I think he's bad mojo's out of the way. Hmm. Now we'll see. Consecrate. Too, so. He uh, can he can consecrate, but then you have to hit, and he's putting himself so low. I mean, that's really scary. I don't know. He's gonna go down to eight from that. I feel like he, I feel like it's really is what he has to do though. He's got to deal with this. Yeah, so it's, it's really, no really no options really. Yeah. If, if he doesn't get killed off this turn though, I mean, being able to lay on hands next turn is gonna be huge for him. It's tough to die when soul fire something too. Yeah. Well, he's hoping that there's not another Doom Guard being drawn now. Doom Guard would be huge. Flame Imp, not what he wants. Nope, that is not it either. He's probably just going to play it all. Wow. Lay on hands about to turn this game right back around. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Not gonna, eh, it's still got to be. Eh, it's got to be lay on hands. Don't you think? Do you think he true silver's here? God, it's a bit know. of a hard choice. I mean, if you. If he lives through the turn Depends with this true silver. Depends how greedy you want to be. Yeah, that's a, if, he, if he lives through the turn with this true silver. He wins. He's so far Pretty ahead much. At this point. I mean, the, the, it's also a question of what do you want to hit? Do you hit that? I, I, feel like, I feel like if you're doing this, then you go full greed mode and you do Blood Knight into the 2 2. You kill the, you kill the Flame Imp. Yeah, okay, so that's what he's going to do. He's, he's just going to go full greed. And we'll see if it pays off. I mean, this is going to put him pretty low. It's going to come down to these draws here for 6 0. He's looking for a Doom Guard. We'll see if he's going to be able to get it. He needs um, one damage and a Doom Guard. Yep. I mean, like a wolf and a Doom Guard. Uh, does he have a second There's implosion? implosion? Let's see what it is. Nope. Oh! But Knife Juggler is wow. really good here. Let's see how the juggles go. And he's going to be able to trade in this. He's going to be able to get so many juggles, potentially. I feel like I feel like you trade into the Blood Knight, and then you implosion the Shredder. Or do you, you implosion, do you implosion the Shredder, the Shredder first? first? Yeah, yeah, I guess I you so. have to. Uh, yeah, I think you should implosion here. Wow, what a big board state. All right, let's see. He wants that three so badly. He gets, oh, get he gets, it, gets a two, two again. It might be okay, though. Let's see where the juggles lay. Not yet. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. He's got to hit. Uh, you know, going for face here is not like oh. the worst case scenario. Oh, the 4-1. Oh, he gets a 4-1. He gets a 4-1. No. no. The pilot and Shredder. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that, that is That is unreal. Real. Yeah, it, there's only there's only two or there's three. There's uh, the succubus. There's that, and there's um, middle house here. So yeah, God, what a brutal spot to be in. And hunter, hunter. He's got the Q and hunter and the paladin. It's like well, one of the matchups you just definitely don't want. And does have the undertaker. Where there's an undertaker, there's a way. <laughs> Started an undertaker. Now we're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like a seven eight on the board. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's also nice for just staying here because he's also seeing the only deck that 6-0 has left. So, you know, if he does lose this hand, yeah, you know, he has, has a decision to make with his next deck what's going to be stronger against this. I, I don't think 6-0 is going to trade a single minion in this game. No. I, just, I, just, I, think, I think the rage has been induced and, and uh, all he's, got, face all the time. he's got plus 6 attack at this point. Moment of truth. <laughs> Let's see. Does he trade? Everyone knows yep, this stuff. I just... <laughs> And whether he's on tilt or whether he's got a clear head, we'll have to see. I mean, about he has that. he has an animal companion. He has a weapon. He has a lot of like a pretty. He's got coin pilot and shredder. Yeah. That's like a really important one to have. Yeah. And this trap actually really important too. The if explosive this is that would be really like nice. Snake trap or something. Or snake trap. Yeah. Let's see what it is. Can, can you check that trap over there? I can actually check that trap. Um, it is explosive, which is which is pretty darn good. It's decent, but I think you would have liked to have something like snake trap yeah. instead. I don't know if he's actually playing that, but but another buffed up Undertaker. He's going straight to the face. I mean. This is, all these minions are, are, are going to potentially die here. And I mean, this is a lot to have to trade in. Um, I mean, Shredder is kind of nice to develop, but at the same time, do you feel like you have to like Argus and start getting some of this stuff off the board? That's 
really tough to say. I mean, what what this trap is makes a big difference in how of you course. move forward. Like, yeah. say, say this is a freezing trap here, and you choose to you go. You want to attack it first, but I mean, the thing yeah. is, he, he can attack a minion first, but then the thing is, if he's worried about snake trap, that's really scary to do too. So right. it, it's like kind of damage you do, damage you don't. Um, and uh, we're going to see what the choice is. So he's going to buff up. We'll see where he goes with his next attacks. Yeah. He's got the news that isn't snake trap, and I think yep. that's really what he was looking for. So he's going to trade that in. Yep. And since it's so likely to be explosive trap after that, yeah. well, no reason to attack. Very intelligent. Yeah. It's like almost never going to be misdirection. Yeah, well, so. that, that's, I don't even consider that. And yeah. snipe, those are those are. Two, I literally don't. Those don't enter yeah, my brain. I was literally playing with snipe like a week ago. Really? Yeah. I I, I can't even remember the last time I've been sniped or had misdirection outside of arena. He's still applying a lot of pressure here, though. Yep. Very uh, very much so. And I mean, he does have still animal companion in hand, like to do a lot of damage potentially if you're will the huffer or something. You have to keep in mind, explosive trap is two. He has hero power for two. Uh, three from his weapon, four from the Shredder, well, now one from the Shredder, but still, there's a lot of damage potential here uh, that really is starting to add up. And, you know, he does a quality, he doesn't a quality, rather, but he does, um, you know, reduce his attack, and he's actually going to decide to leave it alive, which is pretty intelligent. It's not finished off the weapon if he's going to do that. Looks like he'll draw a second freezing trap, by the way. Let's see what, the, so. let's see what he rolls. <laughs> Just to make sure that his draws are, are on point. Four, four. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's definitely having a steady shot here. This pilot of Shredder, though, I think this could really reasonably attack into a, into the shield, but at the same time... Um, yeah, I actually would have liked that. Well, what he's considering at this point is just how he actually kills his opponent. So if mm. this adds up to four... Oh, to, man. If this adds up Blood to like, three or four more damage at the end of the game, I think that could be enough to really sway things. The Blood Knight could be kind of... I don't know. I guess he's not going to decide to use it, so... Ah, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I think anti-kill buff would be a drop this turn. Yeah. I mean, he's still pretty high. What, do, you think, do you think there's any chance of him just developing wow, the Shredder? Like novice engineer yeah, brutal. off of his pilot Shredder. One of the worst minions he could yeah, possibly he's, get. Yeah, he's just going to drop the Shredder. I don't think he's scared right now after clearing up the last minion. Yeah, chooses to not token here to unleash the hounds yeah. uh, on his mind. We may have to see what tracking brings. Yeah, I, I think I think loot hoarders. Loot hoarders and the hero power. He, need to, he needs a weave and a hero power as often as he possibly can at this point. Do you not start dropping these freezing traps? Um, I think that the loot hoarders are just more important than developers. Okay. And uh, you know, he doesn't want to give, he doesn't want to give too much. I mean, away. he just wants to start using this weapon, obviously. And, and yeah. I mean, he knows it's explosive. He's not gonna trigger it, so it's like he's just gonna continue trading these minions, um, and he's not really gonna be able to use his weapon. Yeah, I think he's just looking to pick up something like kill command, mm. and like you know, just the weapon being there is fine. Oh, there it goes. Wow, he actually does attacks the explosive traps. Yeah, surprised he part. actually? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty I mean, surprised by that. That's putting himself really quite low. I mean, the anti kill bot is there, so I guess that's his reasoning. He just wants to get rid of it yeah. now. He wants to start applying pressure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit surprised that now was the time he chose to do it. Santa Jaime not too pretty at the moment. Uh, oh, Two kill oh. commands in the same tracking for 6 0. Well, times are tough. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a recession here. If you're if you're if you're from the country of six zero, <laughs> uh, so he's gonna actually he's gonna actually gonna decide to drop the high main. How much damage does he have here? Shredder plus uh, he can true silver as well. I mean that's oh my god man that's uh, twelve damage they can do. Plus he has he's facing he's facing lethal. Yeah, now's the turn where he really just decided to hit. he had to apply pressure. Yep. And six zero looking at eleven points of damage right now. Uh, and his opponent's at 18. Does he have something like Unleash the Hounds in his deck? Second high main certainly not what he wanted. No. Actually, even if you drop a Freezing Trap, you do risk giving your opponent back a... Yeah. Hey, what, do you, what do you feel like uh, about... Do you think it was a mistake to not drop one of these Freezing Traps earlier? Just uh, try to slow things down a bit? I don't think so. I think it was a matter of just the fact that he didn't have a, a way to allocate all his mana to the cards in his hand. Mm, yeah. It is hard to fit them in. But I mean, how, how does he get out of this? I mean, he's sitting at 11 HP. Uh, there's, he's facing down right now, 16 damage. He has to start clearing. But he has to use, he's gonna have to use weapon charge to kill off the, the, the Noyotron. He's gonna kill command the heal bot, it looks like, and probably play a freezing trap. So that's, that's pretty smart. He doesn't want to be able to double play that. Uh, that's rough. He's gonna go face. What? Yeah, he needs the damage from the assignment. He has to get, yeah. he has to get more damage off of it. And so here it's... That is... If he draws two damage, the game's over then. We'll see. He's got 13 damage. Well, this is 13 damage right here, actually. 
So if he draws a kill command, but he can't draw yep. a kill command. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, just saying needed two damage to, to kill. Oh, okay, okay. Because with the freezing trap, and then, you know what I'm saying, like he attacks in, gets freezing trap, yeah. hits with the weapon, everything. So, yeah, this could definitely, uh, well, he, he remember he lost his second kill command. Yeah. So he so doesn't he have that. To, like, unleash the hounds. Yeah. Yeah, going for the high man there could have definitely backfired. Yeah. Had he chosen to do that, so uh, going to get freezing trap. Not really a big consequence, but... He's going to heal up with his true over champion and, and just kind of hope that things work out. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do? It's, it's got to be uh, got to be the only the only choice uh, here. Even if you drew at least the hounds, it would only be 13 points of damage. And since Kill Command's not there, like maybe it could be Leroy. He doesn't know that Kill Command isn't there, obviously. Yeah, he doesn't know that, so he's got to you know he's going to play the way that he needs to play. But let's see. He shouldn't be making a token here. Wow. Move quickly. Not Pilot gonna do it. Pilot and Shredder. Wow, and I'm just a, a clean sweep, man. Three zero. We're uh, yep. we're just saying over over six zero. So our our community invite there, crushing through this first series, and uh, he has got to be feeling so good after that. Yeah, I mean, there's really <laughs> what other feeling do you have to describe that? You know, just uh, kind of unfortunate for six zero that. Really, the you know, some of the random stuff just didn't go his way, but that that's just Hearthstone. You know, at the end yep. of the day, you're gonna have.